nutrition uh, and nutritional supplements is near and dear to my heart. And uh, we were looking to treat cancer-related fatigue and breast cancer survivors who had chronic fatigue. So we used omega-3 supplements, which was from fish oil, versus omega-6 supplements from soybean oil. We found that soybean oil significantly reduced fatigue over fish oil. We took patients who were fatigued, they had a level of fatigue of four or greater on a zero to 10 scale. And we randomized them to one of three groups. They either got a high dose of omega-3, a high dose of omega-6, or a combination of the low dose of both omega-3 and omega-6. We found that those in the high dose omega-6 from the soybean oil had a huge reduction in cancer-related fatigue compared to those in the omega-3 group. This was just a feasibility trial and we found that all the medications that we gave, all the supplements, were definitely feasible. The patients were able to take them and that the evidence points us now towards soybean oil for fatigue and we're planning a larger study around that. The bottom line message is that some of these supplements may play a role and they may want to inquire about what their patients are taking or if their patients ask them, they might be able to recommend certain things. Now we know that both omega-3 and omega-6 are relatively safe. While we can't quite recommend them yet for fatigue, they do do a number of beneficial things in the body and they can be recommended for other things. In my study, when we treated fatigue, we also saw improvements in sleep and very large improvements in pain, which are very encouraging. So as those things tend to cluster together, we would like an intervention that treats multiple symptoms. And we saw this in this preliminary study.